<clears throat> Welcome back to the Cave of Science and today we're going to take uh, an introductory look at how to create a graph from a uh, spreadsheet and we're going to be doing this a lot this year so you'll have plenty of practice at this. All right we're going to do it in uh, conjunction with our density lab. So you go to new and we want a Google Sheet and we want a blank spreadsheet and hopefully it'll load up. There we go. Make sure you title your spreadsheet. Now I'm going to call this Density Lab. And now we can start putting in data. I always suggest you, uh, in the, uh, the first row, you put your uh, title of your uh, things you're going to insert. So we're going to put in Objects. And then we're going to put in Density. And it probably wouldn't hurt here to also put the units in. So it would be gram uh, per milliliter or gram per cubic centimeter. Now we could have done this also when we create the graph, and I'll show you how to do that also. All right, let's just, uh, I'm going to just call the objects A, B, C, D, and E. A, B, C, D, E. And I'm just going to give them some values. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. I get a little OCD on this. I like to put mine center justified. And let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger. Or we'll squeeze it out this way. And a little bit more here. There we go. All right. Now, to create a graph, you can go to Insert, and you can create a, a chart here. I call it a graph, but a chart. Or you can get it off the toolbar up top. I, I quite often like to do the toolbar up top. So we got to highlight what we're going to chart or graph. And when I click on this, hopefully it'll run in. I'm going to move this over a little bit. And I have my chart. So, not too bad here. And if you come over to the chart editor, you can create many different charts. So, you've got a possibility. Scroll down, pie chart. There's just a whole bunch. I would suggest you play around with these. But I want a bar chart for this one. So, really, I'm about 90% done at this point. Now, I want to change the title. Uh, and you can change the uh, axis also. You could either click in it, and if you do that, you'll see that you switched over to customize, and you went to chart title, and it highlighted all this. I just want density of objects. So I want density. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Density of objects looks pretty good. Uh, you can change the title, you can change or the font, the size, the format, uh, the color, let's put it in red, let's center justify it. And again, there's a lot of things you can do there. You can also change the title of the axis. So let's just click on the X. You can also get the, uh, you can get it from up here also. All right, so objects, yeah, it looks pretty good. And let's see, title font, let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's go to 14, and that looks pretty good. We can leave that one alone. At this point, I want to change the vertical. Oh, that looks density, grams per milliliter, grams per cubic centimeter. Looks good. Let's change the color. Uh, what kind of cool color do we want? Yeah, it doesn't look that good. Let's try something like this. All right. So at that point, looks like we got a pretty good graph. Next thing we want to do is we want to insert this into our uh, into our uh, Google Sheet that we created earlier. So a couple ways we can do that. We can click right on up here. You can also you got the three dots. You can also edit the chart. You can download it. You can publish it. You can copy. You can, you can do all sorts of things here. I'm just going to copy the chart. 
So copy chart. At this point, you need to go back to your drive and find your Google Sheet you made. So I'm going to open this one up. And this is the one uh, we played around with the other day. So I want to find a nice space out here. There we go. And you can right click and you can paste. I'll link to spreadsheet. Uh, you can unlink it. And I'm just going to unlink it at this point. And I'm going to hit paste and there it is. Which is a, there's your chart inserted in your Google Doc. Now, Google just did another way to insert a chart. If you want to insert and you can do chart and they just added this you can do it from sheets so if you go to your spreadsheets uh, let's see density lab select and it'll ask you to import chart so click on it import it and lo and behold there it is so again we're going to be using there's many many things you can do with this oops i don't want that and i would suggest you play around with this it's just a real brief look at making a uh, a chart into uh, google docs all right we'll see you guys later